Hi there, it's Friday evening in England and I put a post on the site yesterday asking for topics for today's post and uh, one in particular that, that struck me was uh, uh, Barb, Barb TK said um, how do you go about telling people when you're newly diagnosed about MS and trying to make them understand uh, what it's all about and what we go through and um, <laughs> and, and what's What's, what the future holds, really. Uh, simple question is, um, I don't really know. Um, when you're first diagnosed, I think uh, we go through a lot of our own personal issues. You know, we go through shock, uh, disbelief, uh, denial, uh, anger, sadness. There's so many. It's a little bit like uh, grief, um, I think, when we lose somebody very, very close, somebody that we love. Um, so when we've, we've finally come to terms with our own um, emotions and then people ask, uh, about, oh, oh, sorry, and then we need to um, explain to people about MS, um, I always try to do it very, very simply. Uh, and the way I said it, uh, or I do say it is, well, when you get an illness, your body attacks, the uh, your antibodies attack the illness, the virus or whatever else and, and kill it off and uh, you get better. When people with MS uh, get virus, uh, viruses, if that's a correct word, um, our, anti, our immune system sort of attacks our myelin, you know, the, the sheathing, uh, the, the covering your brain, your spinal cord, and it creates uh, lesions uh, similar to an electric uh, cable. And once the lesions sort of go through the myelin, once the, uh, it sort of attacks and it gets through the myelin, it, it exposes the bare wires. Again, we're back to the electricity uh, uh, theory. And then we get short circuits. Um, this can affect our, a, lot of, a lot of things that we do, but it also means the brain, our bodies, I believe, have got to reroute the signals. And what that really means is if we're going from um, a to B, uh, as a normal healthy person, our, our body will just go bang, straight there, A to B. When we have MS, it has to go from A to E to D to B to C, and that, sorry, and then back to B. So um, it's, it's a more complex thing, and that's probably why we get fatigued doing things. They do say it's five times harder for a person with MS to complete a task than it is for a normal person. So if you just look at what you've done today, you should be fairly proud um, that you've done it because you are. You must be very, very strong to be able to do this every day. Um, so that's when we, when we first diagnosing, first telling people about our diagnosis and what what's to come. Try and keep it as simple as possible. And if they want to ask more questions and they want to learn more about multiple sclerosis, it's better for them to do it themselves. Read a little bit and then ask you questions because I'm sure. Um, either during diagnosis or, or after diagnosis you do an awful lot of reading and 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 don't get me wrong there's an awful lot of st scare mongering out there on the internet you can read stories that are frighten you to death i believe 90 something percent of that is complete um uh, it is scaremongering and, it, and it's and it's not good to read so um if that's answered the question then great uh, i'll do another topic tomorrow but um of course it's friday so i'm um going out to play uh, snooker with my friends um uh, for a few hours. So uh, if I don't speak to you before or you don't get a chance to check on the posts, um, have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy what you're doing and we'll speak very, very soon. So good night. God bless you all. Thank you.